Well, hello there, my darlings. Happy first year to all of you. And welcome to a speed build. I decided on bringing this out today because it was finished, it was ready to go. And my other video is not. So that will come out tomorrow instead. Yes, it will. Anyway, just a cheeky little cottage we're doing today. A little fisherman's cottage in the world of Windenburg on the little island on the tiny little lot. And I'm using some custom content today. Yes, I am. Um, and yeah, I really love it. Little one bedroom fisherman's cottage. Now you're probably sick to death of these kind of builds. And to that, I would say, I don't give a shit because I enjoy doing them. And I absolutely loved how this one came together. It really was. I built this for my legacy save file. Well, just my, it's my, it's my save file, not yours. <laughs> I'm not going to be releasing it or anything, but I really needed, I had a fisherman character, a rather handsome, dapper gentleman that you will see in the uh, video tour in the end. He's, he makes a little appearance and I really wanted a house for him. So I decided on building this little cottage and I really wanted it to have a really big front garden, but not so much a garden that is in much use. I really wanted the garden to look kind of like overgrown and wild. And that is what we did with the landscaping. You might have saw that in the little video, like, intro. And, yeah, came together really nicely. Came together rather nicely indeed. So, it's got a little entrance hall. It's got a staircase hall as well. It's got a toilet downstairs, along with a little dining room kitchen and living area that has kind of all been made open plan and this little bit that I'm working on now is where the kitchen goes uh I really wanted like a little extension with some lovely big glass windows and a glass roof to house the kitchen and that's what we did right really sweet little layout this and I really enjoyed building this up I, I it didn't take me long at all it took me about two hours to build this and yeah I decided I was like Do you know what we're gonna get this out today tomorrow as I said we're gonna be playing around with a bit of Google Earth my loves and we're gonna be building something from Google Earth and we're gonna make that a bit of a series I'm not gonna give it any name or anything we're just gonna go around different countries and build something from Google Earth we are starting in the UK obviously we're gonna stay in the UK for a few builds I would say and then we're gonna venture forth and travel around the world together and build something from Google Earth. Now, as I said, I'm going to try and keep the houses and stuff or where I am private. I'm just going to let you know what country we're in just because we're like building people's homes. You know, I just find that a little bit weird over the Internet. So I'm going to try and keep it as private as I possibly can. Um, and I'm sure like people will be able to guess where I am, like with Google Earth and stuff. But I just want to be respectful, you know, so that's what's going to happen. Yes, it is. Anyway, here we are working on the garden wall i use some of these live edit pieces from get together these lovely stone wall pieces and i just make my own little wall going around the build i still wanted this build to kind of have its own like lot if you know what i mean like like it's not like kind of open to the outside so that is why i used this wall and it came together lovely it came together rather nice indeed i did have to change the back bit what i'm working on now because these curved pieces I always forget that your sims can't go and use anything if you place anything in these curved pieces here. They cannot go and use it. I had a barbecue and everything there. So I had to change out that wall slightly. Just this, just this one here, the one that we're working on now, the little curve at the end. I put a little wooden fence there instead, just so the sim that I have can, um, yeah, go in there and use his barbecue. Yes. Now, before I... Well, not before... I was building this for my sim and I completely forgot that he's got a dog. So I didn't put any dog thing in this build until afterwards. But once you, once I'm able to get access to the gallery, I'm actually going to go in and talk to the computer people today where I got my PC built and ask them if I can get booked in for my PC to be taken in and looking um, upgraded and blah, 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 blah. So I should have access to the gallery. Here's hoping, here's hoping. Um, I hope it works. I hope I'm able to access the EA app um, within the next few weeks. I will keep you all updated, obviously. Um, but yeah, anyway, so here we are working on the landscaping in the front garden. As I said, I really wanted it to look really overgrown, like a little meadow in the front of the house. So I use lots of live edit pieces and I play around with some flowers and um, using this wonderful grass from Get Together that's in the live edit. I end up sinking this down a little bit into 
the terrain with the tool mod just so it looks a little bit more natural if you hear snoring in the background that's because daisy is in the room asleep with me you'll have to excuse her um but yeah absolutely adorable she is um if you want to go and check out on my instagram as well i've got a rather cute video of daisy up on my stories of her eating a watermelon for the first time she was absolutely living her best life she really was now these yellow bushes oh my god sorry oh god i just shit my pants then <laughs> fucking adobe that was adobe saying they've updated something i'm so sorry <laughs> i'm gonna have to try and edit that and make it lower when once it gets into <laughs> Once it gets into um, the editing process, you'll have to excuse that. That was very rude. Very rude indeed. But um, what was I saying? I can't remember. Oh, those yellow bushes. I'm going to pretend that those are gorse. Gorse bushes are prolific in the UK. In like more areas and by the coast and stuff. They're these spiky yellow flowered bushes that I've got a story about them. When I used to go horse riding, I used to go horse riding quite a bit when I was younger. Um... I got bucked off into a gorse bush. Now, can you, I don't know if anybody knows what, if you don't know what a gorse bush is, as I said, it's a really spiky, heavy duty plant. So that's very pretty. Yellow flowers all over it and whatnot. But the horse that I was riding, he was called Ivanhoe. He was an absolute beauty. He was a little palomino. Um, he was gorgeous. And the numna, which is, if you don't know, it's the little thing, well, it's the cloth that goes underneath the saddle to stop the saddle rubbing the horse or pony. Um, and it started to slip. It started to slip out. I didn't put it on right. I was only about 13, I think. And it spooked Ivanhoe when he was trying to kick it off. And he didn't kick the numna off. He kicked me off instead. And I landed in a gorse bush and had spikes in my ash cheeks, my loves. And I couldn't walk for about two days. And that... Is the story of how I got booked off into a horse push. <laughs> oh my lord, the amount of injuries that I got from when I used to horse ride. Um, yeah, no broken bones though, touch wood. I've, don't, I've never broken a bone. Never broken a bone. Look at me being 37 and never breaking a bone. Very proud of myself. You watch, I'll go in a minute and I'll fall down the stairs or something. Don't say that, Aiden. You're just tempting fate. Anyway, playing around with the terrain paints now. I had to go underneath of all of that lovely, um, uh flowers and whatnot just with some earth to make it sit sit in we put some welly boots outside the front porch area along with like a little boy and a crab cage and a bench and i got down this side here with a hedge and this is where things had to change a little bit i didn't realize this until i was player testing everything but um i did like a little grassy moment or a little bushy moment there just to kind of set in that little corner and I don't know. I do think it, make it look, make, made it look a little bit more natural having that little bush there. And I put in that little um, picnic table, a little uh, firewood storage, a barbecue, a plant. I end up cli climbing some ivy up the house as well. I also did that at the front just a little bit, just to kind of like set it in and make it look very old. I'd imagine this like uh, fisherman's cottage is like, I don't know, 300, 400 years old. Um, and it's very inspired by the surrounding like areas where i live cornwall and devon um and yeah i love to build like that you guys know me by now that's my favorite way to build but all my favorite style to build in it's that it's just that thing it is right so we're into the living area i've gone for very much exposed brick walls painted over with a lime wash um and some flagstone flooring and we go for a very classic look in here mixtures of lit i still keep it nice and classy and whatnot you can imagine this like being on airbnb or something but i wanted some colors in here so i just bought in some colors using some of the furniture pieces and i my favorite room in the house has probably got to be this area here but also the kitchen i love how the kitchen looks underneath of the big glass ceiling uh you'll see that in just a second we go for the I think it's the Felixander London cabinets for the kitchen. Those sofas, by the way, are from Harry's Heritage Collection. Um, they're one of our first pieces of CC, I think. And they just come in some really nice watches. They're recolors of the ones from Cats and Dogs. And yeah, these wonderful paintings that I'm putting up are from Charlie Pancakes. They are from her Lighthouse Collection. Now, this is the color kitchen I go for. A really dark blue kitchen. Um, and I just love the light and the way that this kitchen looks in here. And it's such a nice little size. It's got everything you need in here. But it's just the perfect size. It's the perfect size kitchen. 
um, for a little fisherman's cottage. And I kind of liked the way that left it open plan. I, I almost made it look like those beams are where original walls may have been. And they've just kind of knocked it down just to bring a bit more space into it. Maybe this... Uh, where the kitchen is it is an original part of the house but they added in like the glass windows and also the glass ceiling as well like the uh skylight i would imagine that is the case that's the storyline and that is what we are sticking to yes we are indeed but yeah it's only a really short speed build to take this kit as i said it came together really really fast but i as I, as always i had a bloody blast doing it let me put in my favorite sink i've ever seen cc wise or in the game um, it is from Felix Anders' Chateau collection. The sink is absolute perfection. I cannot wait to download the rest of that collection because I've just seen the new stuff that Felix Ander has made for the Chateau collection and it's the beautiful curtains and oh, can't wait. Decided on putting shutters everywhere in this house instead of um, curtains. Uh, I just thought it looked nicer. So inside shutters on all of the windows. And that, that will kind of like weather the storm, you know, lock out all of the wind and the draft and whatnot. Well, it's meant to. I've been in many of cottage and it doesn't keep up the draft. Let me tell you that. But yeah, and a little dining room area as well with a little Welsh dresser. That is from L uh, Felix Anders' London collection as well. Um, but yeah, rather nice. And this is the only bathroom in the house. One bathroom and I put it straight off of the dining area. Um, no full bath. It's just got a shower. It was, it was too small to add a full bath in um which is a bit of a shame because i could imagine if you were a fisherman like the sim who is living in this place is coming home after a long day at sea i would imagine dunking in the bath would be an absolute fucking treat darlings but yeah we didn't do that didn't do that putting toilet on the fourth floor for the minute until i find the cabinet that i always bloody forget about and i used it in my last build as well the little cabinet from parenthood love that and it's got it's what um it's got uh what are they called again snap points on the top <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah anyway entrance little vestibule little boot room i decided to do a little seating area we can come take his wellies off maybe even though there's wellies outside and hang his coat and stuff up and yeah i just started, decided on doing a little area like this and it's got its own like little separate stair area as well you can see it and uh, so you kind of go through two areas to get into the main house again maybe keeping out the draft now, this is the last room that you're going to see me furnish. This is the bedroom. I love how the bedroom came out. The bedroom's really nice. I wanted to keep the bedroom light and bright and very... Still with that kind of nautical theming, but very classic furniture. I use a lot of different CC pieces in here from everyone. All of my favourites. Harry, Felix, Pierre Sim, Charlie Pancakes. You know the vibe by now. Um, but yeah, I think it's came together rather deliciously indeed. But I'm going to round this all up now, my sweets. As I said, I will be back tomorrow with a new kind of series on the channel. Um, exploring Google Earth. We are staying in the UK. I know exactly where we're going to be going. And I know exactly what we're going to be building. I found a beautiful building for us to build tomorrow. So that's it. Anyway, leave me some lovely comments down below, my absolute sweethearts. And I will be back tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>